Welcome guys, in this tutorial series I will show you how to make this sliding puzzle game in Godot. The game has many features and the source code is available in the description. If you want to see an in-depth demo of the final game check out the link in the description. So let's get started, first create a new project in Godot. I'm using Godot version 3.3.2. Name it whatever you want and use GLES 2.0 since it's a simple game and will run on more platforms. First let's set up the project structure, make two folders SRC and assets, in SRC make a folder scenes. Let's make the tile scene, add a control node as the root, since we will be using more of the UI nodes and name it tile. Add a sprite to the tile, and drag the background image to the texture property. In the transform set the scale to 0.344. Since the default will be a 4x4 board, set the H frames and V frames to 4. Enable grid snap, and adjust the position of the sprite to the origin. Next add another control node, and name it number. Resize to fit the sprite node. Add a color rect to the number node. Set the layout to full rect and change the color to a translucent dark color. Add a label to the number node. Set its layout to full rec 2. And set the align AV align to center. Add a tween and a panel to the root tile node. The tween will be used later to make the tile slide. The panel will be used to add a nice border to the tile. Resize the panel to the same size as the sprite. For the custom style, choose a new style box flat, and uncheck draw center. Set all the border width to 1 and change the border color to your choice and check blend. Now right click the tile and click attach script, choose the appropriate location and name for the script. Right click the tile node, and click on change type and change it to a texture button. This is the code for the tile. The number is the displayed number of the tile like 1, 2, 3, etc. There are two signals one when the tile is clicked and one when the slide is completed. The function set text is used to update the number of the tile. The function set sprite updates the frame of the sprite, so that we can use one background image but take different parts of it for each tile based on the frame number. The function update size is used so that we can properly set the scale and size of the tile when we change the size of the board.
the function set sprite texture only updates the texture of the sprite so we can easily change the background image in the settings page. The function slide to is used to slide the tile to a new position. For this we use the tween node, and it has a function interpolate property which will animate the position of the tile to the new position in the given duration. The next function set number visible will be used when we want to hide or show numbers for all tiles. The next two functions are called when the tile is pressed and when the tween has finished sliding the tile. So let's connect the signals. Click on tile node, in the right panel, click on node, and connect the press signal to the tile node. Similarly click on the tween node, and connect the tween completed to the tile node. Save and run the scene. Our game window is quite large so let's resize it. Click on Project, then Project Settings, and search for Window. Set the size to 336 by 410. In the Stretch section, set the mode to 2D and Aspect to Keep. So that it's for Part 1. Thanks for watching. If you like this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for the next parts. Be sure to click the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.